Welcome to the Bukit Jalil Stadium here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for the AFC Under-16 Championships quarterfinal tie between Group C winners Indonesia and Group D runners-up Australia. On the line, of course, a place in the semi-finals and a place in next year's FIFA Under-17 World Cup to be held in Lima in Peru. And they keep the same side that actually drew against India and cemented their place at the top of the group. Three changes to Australia from the side that won 4-0 against Afghanistan in their final group. Group B game, and uh, we see Jordan Boss coming in for Lachlan James Sepping. All the natural disasters uh, can be put to bed with uh, could be a performance of a lifetime against the might of the Australians, who remember beat them by seven goals to three. Jordan Boss, it's a good hustle down there by Leon Bruno. Ball up front, and it's onside. Bottage, still Bottage, attacking the byline, this could be the opening goal, it came off the uprights, it should have been the opening goal as well, slack defending by the Indonesians who switched off, and the Australians almost punished them for it. Ball spread out, and there is a player free right at the far post, it is Dozel, Dozel shaping up to shoot, great save by the goalkeeper who stood strong on his ground. She really should have scored Dozel, any side of the goalkeeper, that would have been 1-0. No. They've uh, brought along with them a confident string of results to take to the AFC Under-16 Championships. A little mistake here, a chance for the strike, and it's the opening goal! Sultan Zico has scored for Indonesia! Pandemonium in the stands. Puzzled Pavlovich just couldn't believe what happened in front of him. And Fakri Husaini side have gotten off to a flyer. Well, they've just been sponging up the pressure that's been put on them by the Australians. And all of a sudden, after a little mix-up at the back, where they couldn't clear their lines, Sutton Zico just got hold of the ball and straight away on the strike, very little back lift, slamming it. This time, they make inroads into the Indonesian back line. Botic. Well, he opened his body up and tried that little curler to the far post. Well, to keep it in play and hook it and keep it alive. Chance for Kurda to take this. Well, didn't catch it on the sweet spot. Up to the World Cup Finals again. And this is played in behind the defence. Here comes the speedster, Supriyadi. Fit if it happens, Brilliant Negiata is also behind it. What's going to happen from that? It is a shot straight at goal. It goes blazing just wide. And up top, a little ponderous on the ball. Supriyandi just dancing his way around. A couple of challenges, just couldn't get past Walsh with that final fling and slide. But, uh, that doesn't deter them. And here is Supriyandi on the break, leading the charge yet again. Ambiris trying to get the ball off him. Failed to do so. Supriyandi sets up the goal scorer. Zico. Well, that deflection could have gone anywhere. He showed it then. That's a... Uh, Showing too much of the ball was Coman, the Australians now on the counter-attack, it's onside, it's poor touch by Boss, it's great goalkeeping, and yet again the Australians squander another opportunity in front of goal. Molana, a oh, clever pass inside to Supriadi, Supriadi might have gone for goal himself, gives a chance to Zico. Zico yet again looking to create the angle for himself, failed to do so. And Supriyadi had an opportunity right then to open his body up and really beat the goalkeeper. Sutan, Bagos, Andre breaking clear. It's Andre Octaviencia. Andre saved by the goalkeeper. Supriyadi couldn't apply the finishing touch. And the vociferous support has certainly lifted this side into uncharted territories. Just a little bit more. Hang on, or maybe even extend it. Too dangerous, especially for the Indonesian supporters. This one's a much better free kick, and that will be the equalizer. It is Daniel Walsh, the tallest of the lads, inside the penalty box. And once you have a good delivery, that's what's going to happen. Hernando had no chance at all. Fleeting hope for the Australians. And they will tell you that they deserve that. Especially from the opportunities they created in the first 45 minutes. There we go. 
surely no one's going to challenge him. Goalkeeper didn't come out for that, but you have to credit Burkhan Kirda for that delivery. Whipped in with pace, height, and more importantly, accuracy. Matched by the header of Daniel Walsh. Also in the Portuguese Youth League last season, that high line might be exposed yet again. The goalkeeper doesn't come for this. The shot is on! It came off the uprights yet again. Twice now they've struck the Indonesian left upright. Supriyadi. No. Loads of space on the right hand side. Left hand side, I should say, for the Australians. The shot is on! And it's in! From a goal down to. We had said earlier on, he had found himself in acres of space behind the right winger. No one picked him up. And Indonesia pay a heavy price. Sushes the crowd, and that might just be the sniper that puts an end to all hopes. You could claim that Bagas miscontrolled the ball, but where was the marking behind him? For the longest time, he was tucked inside, and it needed someone from the right winger's role to come back, support, but Brilliant didn't keep pace with Jan Bruno. Clever from Kurda, Varga. Was spinning away and talking about spinning away. This might just put it to bed. Opens the angle for the shot, and that surely will be Australia through to the quarterfinals. Their top scorer, Noah Bottic, has done it again. Nothing Hernando could do with that strike. The moment he cut it back to his favorite right foot, there was always and only going to be one result. Once again, it comes from this left-hand side for the Australians. Smart ball. Yuda. Rendy. Oh, clever pass inside! Almost that hope that they wanted. Is that a penalty? The referee says play on. Bagos does play on. And Teague will take it away for the Australians. That onside. Assistant referee doesn't flag. Duzel tried to do too much. And try to just blast. And the Indonesians find one more inspiration. Hammond didn't throw in a challenge at all, which is almost criminal. Yuda. Still Yuda. Forced to take the shot. Just over. At their upright rot. Thought it was going to be their lucky day. That floater in the box and it defeated them. The ball's played in behind the defense. It's a good touch, and that is for 3 2. It's the substitute, Randy Juliansha, who has come on and gotten behind the Australian defense and feasted on what was a delightful little lob by Captain Maulana. Indonesia have a glimmer of hope. Superb pass, dinked. Finished. No nonsense. Pick the ball out of the net very quickly. Bring it back to the center spot. And let's see what we can do now. The next thing the crowd's going to pray for. And look. Varga continues the run. Plays a clever ball to the substitute. Great save by the goalkeeper. Second chance. Not going to happen. Not going to happen for Gorman. Just hear the crowd, would you believe? This is for an under-16 game, the shot comes in, what a save by Pavlicic, danger is not over yet, here's the chance for the equaliser, spurned though in the box by the man they wanted on the ball in these final moments most. Randy Giuliancia keeping it alive, then Bruno clears it and that will be the final piece of action. Australia have clinched it. The Indonesians go down on their knees, but they've given every ounce of their energy. They've given everything they have got for this game. 
and for a long while they thought that they were there because they led at half time by a Sutan Zico goal to nil. But the Australians came back strong thanks to Daniel Walsh and then Noah Boltich and Gang scored to make it 3 1. The Indonesians, though, got a goal at the very last minute and their fans will leave loud and very proud because this team has certainly taken them to heights unknown. Final score, though. Indonesia get knocked out, Australia progress through to the semi-finals with a 3-2 victory in a pulsating quarter-final.